At the end of every procedure, it's important to thoroughly clean each endoscope. The channels inside the scope have been exposed to proteins which can stick to the scope if not properly cleaned immediately after the procedure. Start by turning off the light, then inserting the distal end of the scope into your enzymatic solution. Depress the suction button and suction through all of the enzymatic cleaner. You'll then use your soft rag to gently clean all external surfaces of the scope. To disconnect the scope, turn off the power, disconnect the suction hose, disconnect the video cable, the water cable, and gently pull the scope out of the processor. Always place the soaking cap on the scope when it's not in use. The most important part of caring for your endoscope is leak testing. Catching a leak early is the difference between a complete rebuild on a scope and a small bending rubber repair. Attach the leak tester to the end of the soaking cap. Make sure it's locked on. Make sure the cap is tight. Using the hand pump, pump the scope up until the gauge is in the test area. Watch the gauge and make sure it doesn't drop. If it doesn't drop after a few seconds, you're ready to submerge the scope. Each scope comes with a cleaning adapter. Simply remove the air water and suction valves along with the biopsy port cap. With the small end up, attach the cleaning tubing to the control body of the scope. Make sure it's locked on. The cleaning adapter for the bronchoscope is a little different. Remove the suction valve, remove the biopsy port cap, insert the black end into the suction hole, attach the lure lock to the biopsy channel. With the leak tester still holding pressure, it is now safe to submerge the scope. It is important to always be looking for leaks in the endoscope. Using a syringe and your cleaning tubing, flush all air from all channels of the scope. It's easy to have a false positive when you don't remove all air from the scope. Check the scope carefully for any leaks. Most leaks will look like champagne bubbles. Others may be even more prominent. At this point, we're sure there's no leaks. Remove the video hub from this water, release the pressure from the scope, disconnect the leak tester from the soaking cap, double check that the cap is tight, and resubmerge it. Now follow your manufacturer's instruction and add the appropriate amount of enzymatic cleaner to the water. It's important to not add the enzymatic cleaner before leak testing as most enzymatic cleaners can add bubbles to the water which would give you a false positive. Using a soft sponge, thoroughly clean all external surfaces of the scope. At this point, you can disconnect the automatic cleaning channel. Using the supplied cleaning brush, brush each lumen of the scope. Start with the suction and push the brush straight back through the scope. Advance the cleaning brush until it exits through the suction port. Be sure that the bristles are clean. Completely remove the brush, brush this channel of the scope until the brush comes clean three times. Next, at a 45 degree angle, advance the brush down the suction channel of the insertion tube. Be sure the bristles are clean and repeat this step for a total of three times. Lastly, insert the cleaning brush in the biopsy port channel and be sure that it comes out clean. Repeat this step three times as well. Reattach the cleaning tubing to the scope. Be sure that it's attached firmly. Using a 30cc syringe, flush the detergent through the scope. Remove the scope from the cleaning solution and allow it to drain. Place the scope in a second tub filled with clean water. Use the tubing to completely flush all enzymatic cleaner from the scope. Flush fresh water for three minutes. Remove the scope from the clean water. Flush air completely through all channels of the scope. Be sure to remove all water from inside the scope. If sterilizing the scope, completely submerge the scope and sterilize. Flush all channels with sterilant to be sure to remove all air from inside the scope. Once the air is removed, allow the scope to soak 
as per your manufacturer's instructions. After removing the scope from the sterilant, be sure to rinse all sterilant from the scope. Be sure to rinse all channels thoroughly. When hanging the scope, use a syringe with 15 cc's of alcohol. Quickly push 5 cc's of alcohol through each channel. Allow the scope to dry overnight. 